up from my window Sun's coming up like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door to wake up yeah oh, we can spend all day in there i'll put the tv in the room we'll have a netflix marathon kg So caught up in the middle, thinking of drowning in this blue eyes. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. I know that I have so many new faces. So if you are a new subscriber, be sure to say hello down in the comments. That I, die, I can hide. So we are covering a lot of ground today, lots of deep cleaning. I love to do these deep cleanings at least twice a year, usually fall and spring. And then sometimes I'll squeeze one in on the summer, but we're removing all of our cushions to our dining chairs, as well as our living room cushions. And I love to do this because I feel like you get such a deep clean and you feel like you have new furniture and new pieces because everything just smells so fresh. So I'm doing a little bit of spot cleaning and then we're going to swing over into the living room and do the exact same thing. same thing in here just a quick tidy up and then we're going to remove these cushions and spot clean them as well once we get all of this into the washer we're going to take care of some other things While that is washing, we're gonna go ahead and take care of everything around the couch area. We're going to do some vacuuming and then I'm going to spot clean the exterior of the couch. If you're gonna take the time to remove all of those cushions, go ahead and do the whole nine yards, take the extra mile. You will feel so much better once it's finished.
I am cleaning with, I wanted to quickly mention, is just the Young Living Essential Oils brand. And this is Thieves Concentrate, just mixed with water. I use this for surfaces. I use this for stains, dusting, just anything. It's non-toxic. It smells great. So a great alternative. And now I'm just going to push the sofas back and get a good vacuum thoroughly throughout this whole living space and then we will put everything back together. Also now going to take care of the windows really quickly and then when I go over to the other side I have just harvested my basil from my garden so it'll be hanging up I'm letting it dry for a few days and then I'm going to put it in some mason jars that way I have dried basil for the winter I've tried and I failed, so can we work it out Only why do you, why do you keep telling me nothing? But I know why you floss, at least they say something. Still I try to connect with you through your eyes, your eyes. What is on your mind? I think it's time to speak. I have crossed the line, but no, not just me. I'm feeling something that goes beyond. Can we work it out? Only time will tell. It's gonna take a lot. Cause we've been through hell. I can't be without you. I've tried and I failed. So can we work it out? Yeah. Only time. Okay, so now I removed all of the covers from my patio furniture yesterday, washed and dried those. Now Nick's helping me put them back together. Then we're gonna head outside, do a quick tidy of the patio, sweep it, put all the cushions back on. I also spot cleaned my patio rug, and then I like to hang it over of our fence, and I'll spray it really good with our hose, and then I'll let it dry and put it back, and it looked all brand new. It looked so much better. I'm regretting not getting a before and after, but it feels so good just to get that deep cleaning done. It's not always the most fun, but you always feel so much better once it's finished. Cause we've been through hell. I can't be without you. I've tried and I failed. So can we work it out? Yeah. Only time will tell. Only time will me I'm feeling something that goes beyond us. Us, us can we work now I decided to make a quick arrangement with the flowers that I have right here in my garden bed 
This one is mostly flowers. I have no idea how that corn stalk started growing in here, but I'm gonna let it flourish and see what happens. I cut some fresh lavender, and I'm going to just pop that in a vase and put it right on my patio table right here. Okay, so we're back inside. We are taking care of the cushions. Nick was nice enough to put all of these bigger ones back on for me because it is tedious and honestly, sometimes a little bit difficult. So I'm just putting all of the pillows back on, some of the throw blankets, and then we are going to swing around and I'm going to put the dining chairs back on. And then I'm gonna show you guys this quick tortilla soup that I made earlier today. So now moving on to this fresh veggie tortilla soup. You can make this your own. You can add in chicken or beef. Sometimes I add in chicken, but at my local grocery store, this was the most fresh ingredients that I could get for this recipe. I already had chopped up the tomatoes and celery. Now I'm just gonna do one green bell pepper from my garden and then half of a yellow onion. And I will leave all of the spices, etc., that I used in the full recipe down in the description box below. Now I'm just adding some salt and pepper and then we're going to add this into our pot. I already had a little bit of avocado oil warming up. We're going to let this saute until it gets translucent. And then I also did add in a can of green chilies. Then we're going to rinse and drain our beans. I usually use some different beans, but I just use what I had on hand. That's one thing I love about chilies and just different soups. You can kind of make it your own, match it to your preference. So super easy and simple. eyeballed 
have most of my spices, which I typically do. I feel like once you get comfortable in the kitchen, you kind of know what you like, but I will leave what spices that I did use down below. While that's simmering, I decided to make some gluten-free cornbread. It was so good. Now we're going to assemble and add some garnishes. I will leave all of this down in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new, don't forget to say hello, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.